Doc Doom, I thought you were orthodox for the longest time, and then I think a few days ago I thought, oh, you're, you're probably Catholic, and then uh, I see now here you say you're Protestant. Um, oh, wait, maybe you're not. Um, let me read the questions. Uh, oh, yeah, and about Chrysostom, I was being kind of joking. Um, yeah, no, John Chrysostom is a main, is the main, I don't want to say he's the main saint, but he's the one, with the exception of Theotokos, he's talked about constantly. Um, let me see if I can illustrate this the best way I can. Triple to the bags I have down here. Um, Wow, didn't even know that candle was there. Uh, I probably should have had this ready, but oh, I keep flipping over it. Uh, I can read this. Um, where is it? Divine Liturgy of, our, of Chrysostom, of John Chrysostom, the Saints John Chrysostom, blessed people, this and that. Uh, yeah, and they say this is the Liturgy of John Chrysostom. Uh, I've never known anybody else besides the Eastern Orthodox to know about John Chrysostom. And at the end of the Liturgy, they say this is the Liturgy of John Chrysostom. Uh, uh, is, the question is, the letter of St. Clement inspired? Yeah. Um, was the letter ever used in early church liturgy? Uh, used in no, nothing was used in liturgy. Uh, none of the writings. Now, were they read in churches? Yeah. Um, you know, various things were. Um, <clears throat> uh, now, it, sparsely, probably very sparsely, and was probably only used as reference. You know, people quoting it. Um, but then today, whenever we read uh, from the epistles, aren't we just, and the epistles and the gospels, I mean, it can be said that we're just quoting it. Well, with the gospel, we are intoning it when we're hinting, uh, in, intoning it and in singing it as a hymn. Uh, but with the epistles, even though we, you know, sing the epistle or the reading from the epistle, it pretty much is kind of a quote. Um, but it, it has its certain place. Uh, but yeah, First Clement probably was, I mean, it was considered an epistle by certain churches. Uh, certainly at Rome uh, it was. Um, and probably Carthage and parts of Spain. In the Orthodox Church, what kind of music is played? Nothing. Everything is hymns. Uh, we sing it in the whole church. Uh, sings the choir or the cantors. It's just a small group of people around a stand, and they um, sing or chant. I don't know what they're called, singing or chanting. The movable parts, which are very few. Everybody knows the whole service, and uh, the service doesn't change. It's beautiful, and it sinks into your heart. Um, in Novus Ordo Catholic Mass, you have Protestant sounding. Oh, it's terrible. It's god awful garbage. In the traditional. Latin Mass, you have Gregorian chant, and Protestant churches, you have Christian rock rap. Yeah, it's garbage. There is, I mean, to see, um, the, the, you can go online and just type in um, Orthodox Church, uh, you know, Orthodox Church liturgy, and you can see it. I mean, you could see uh, Lazar's video, Archbishop Lazar Paolo, of what the church is like, and it's what it sounds like. You can't really get the effect unless you've gone to an Orthodox church and have stood there for, you know, four hours, but it sinks into your heart and there's no way to... Once people have gone to an Orthodox church for, I mean, for me, it only had to be, you know, I mean, it was the first time was shocking enough, but uh, after three, four times, that was it. I couldn't really go back to another church. It, it ruined me. I, there was too much beauty and the worship of God was there, and the other churches were, I, I felt 
horrible. I mean, I, 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 I was angered at the, at these pastors and things for starving the people. Um, and I think that's the initial reaction of a lot of people of like, it's I, just come here, look at this, you know? Uh, and I think a lot of people's initial reaction, they're like, Oh, this is pagan or something because of the, the beauty and the, uh, why would you keep worshiping God? Why wouldn't you just try to be happy? Why, why do you, why, why, uh, worship God for hours and attain a, a profound joy and an infinite peace of the heart. That's, that's, you know, that's like Buddhist or pagan or something. What? And honestly, I've, I've had people come close to saying that. I mean, uh, Christians aren't supposed to achieve joy of the heart um, in worship of God. It's supposed to, uh, God is just supposed to give that to you. Well, he does through the liturgy, through worship, and it's, I don't, I, I don't understand that. Um, but, yeah, uh, I don't see any other questions. Sarah, thank you for your questions. Um, I'm always glad to talk about the Orthodox form of worship. Uh, take it easy, peace to you. May God through Serbia, Syria, and Ireland.